they knew they probably knew you guys wanted to get the ball in the post, but you're still successful. Could you just touch on that, please? I, I, you know, once again, I, I'll be honest with you. It wasn't uh, today. wasn't planned, and neither was it there. It was just we were in motion, and you know that she had some opportunities early. We got the ball in places she could score, uh, and you know she she produced. And like I said, we we didn't. It wasn't. It, it sounds crazy, but the way the motion works, and if we run it, you know, if we run it well enough, she's going to have that single side or have some some other opportunities, especially with them switching. And, uh, you know, she just, she, re she responded to the bell. I mean, there was a couple times, I think, in the third quarter, we just, I just told her, you go, where, you go where you want, get where you want. We ran two actions of motion and we just threw her in the ball and then she was able, she was able to produce. And, you know, it's like we've said all year, you know, when the baskets go in, when the shots go in, you score points and it's pretty good, you know. And we've had some nights, obviously, where we've had a lot of looks and they don't go in. But tonight was a good night. Only six turnovers tonight. Uh, Taylor said, when you guys score less than ten turnovers, or when you guys commit less than ten turnovers, you guys win. What do you have to say about that? You know, that's what we talk about. That's we 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 talked about that for the last two days. You know, that's we can't we can't have we can't have turnovers. I mean. It, and, and some turnovers, some turnovers you can live with. The turnovers we can't have, which, which we've had in the last, you know, some of our games here, are the turnovers at, at the top of the, you know, we call it turnovers at the top, which are leading to transition or baskets the other way. Like we said, I, you know, in some cases, I, t I, tell our, I tell our players, I just assume you hold the ball and, you know, take a, turn take, take a turnover and let them inbound the ball. But tonight we handled, you know, we handled their switching defense very well. You know, uh, uh, I didn't like the pace we played at early in the game in offense, but I thought in the second half we came out and our pace picked up, you know, in, in, with our actions and with our reads. And we got a lot, especially in the third quarter, we got a lot of, we got a lot of our action going to the basket. We got in the bonus early, uh, you know, in the third quarter. And, you know, we were able to, you know, get to the free throw line quite a bit and, and get those free points. So. You know, turnovers, turnovers are huge. They always have been huge. Um, you know, I thought we played, I thought we played a good pace with, with those few turnovers. So I'm pleased with that. Um, defensive pressure was definitely there tonight, I thought, especially Tommy. I mean, just, they had a lot of shots late in the shot clock. They were forced. Talk about your defense. Yeah, I thought I thought you know I thought I'll be honest with you I thought Tommy came in and gave us a great defensive spark. You know that sounds funny because everybody's always going well you you know who who's your offensive spark? I mean Tommy came in defensively. Um, there was a stretch there in the end of the first half or in the first half and then again in the third quarter, and uh, she literally shut the shut the ball screen down. I mean she was she was over it she was under it. Sometimes they couldn't hit her. You know, um, she did a really, really good job. And then, you know, I, I probably played her too long. She probably got a little bit tired, um, you know, had, had a little bit, but then came right back and made some big plays and some big steals toward the end. So I thought Tommy, I thought Tommy played a really good game. Uh, you know what, and, and, and that goes back to the turnover situation. She also, you know, not only did she play with a high level on the defensive end, she was able to handle the ball and handle their pressure and bring the ball up and, and get us into what we needed. And so I thought she played. I thought she played an excellent game. Um, just how happy are you for uh, Taylor? Oh, I yeah. I can't explain to you guys how happy I am for Taylor to you know reach this first accomplishment. I know also you know she's just a few assists away from being at 300, and and you know she'll she'll uh, leave her mark as you know only the fifth fifth. Uh, Cowgirl in history to have over a thousand points and 300 assists, and I, I just, you know, she's just been that steady, that steady player her whole career, and so for her to be able to this year with all the changes that have gone on, playing, you know, with with a lot of the new kids and whatever, to still be able to step up and reach that thousand points, I'm, I'm, I, I'm so happy for her, and and uh, you know, that's that's one of the things I told her out there, she deserves. She deserves it. She's earned it. Um, you know, she stays. She had stayed in over the comeback over the summers. Worked on her game. Worked on different ways to score. So what she's become, what a lot of people don't understand, is 
you know, her first her first two years, she was more or less just a catch and shoot kind of kid, the, the benefactor of drawing kicks, a lot of threes. She's worked on her game a lot, you know, to to score in a variety of ways, be able to put the ball on the floor, you know, score at the basket, do some of those things. So that's just helped her game. So I, I, I'm I'm so happy for her, and I, I just. You know, I hope we can get her get a couple more assists and make some baskets so she can reach the, the 300 assist plateau also. Uh, a week until your guys' next game, what's your biggest focus here in this next upcoming Well, week? in the next two days, what we talked about is we'll practice tomorrow. Uh, the, practice, the next two practices will be about us. You know, we'll work on, I mean, we'll work on our motion. We'll work on some sets we haven't ran in a long time. We'll work on some things, some back back. Uh, what we call shell drills, some fundamental defensive stuff, uh, some individual skills. Um, we'll you know do all those kinds of things for the next two days, and then we're going to take Saturday and Sunday off, and uh, then just get right back into our get right get into our routine of Monday, Tuesday play, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday play, Saturday, and and see how that goes. We're we're tired. I mean, we're tired. It's not it's not that these next two days are going to be, you know. Uh, extremely hard or extremely easy. They're just going to be, hey, we're going to get some skills. We're going to get some shots, um, maybe maybe clean up some things and uh, just keep your wind a little bit. But we do we do need a little bit of rest. I think our legs were, were a little bit tired. So it, it, it's a good time to have a break. Coach, you touched a little bit on Taylor's growth uh, just a second ago. What has been her impact both on the court, off the court to this team? Oh, Taylor, you know, Taylor has – I'm going to use this in a very endearing term for her. And what, what Taylor has become is she's become this group's mother. You know, she's, she's, she's the old one. She's, you know, last night she was making sure everybody, uh, they wanted to get together last night on their own and, you know, have some dinner and, and, and play some cards and watch a movie. And, you know, she's the one organizing that. She's the one, you know, going, okay, does everybody have rides, you know. So she she's doing all that off the court. And then on the court she's just – she just kind of goes about her business and quietly helps bring some kids along. And you can see her out in the games. You can see her in practice. You know, she's, she's telling somebody, you know, especially some of the freshmen, no, you need to do this. This is how you do this. Or, you know, that make a certain cut. So she's, she's, come, she's come so far for us and, and has meant so much for this, this group, but overall for every group that she, she's been involved with. And, I, you know, and, and what's, what's amazing, and not just her, for a lot of our kids, she's doing all that stuff, and she's going to be done. She's going to have a nursing degree. And I, I'm, I, she don't have a 4-0, but she's up there really, really high. And to me, I, I, can't, I can't, as myself, thinking back to my day, I can't imagine how much pressure some of our young women, including her, have to – study the way they do, perform the way they do in the classroom, and then go, okay, let's also get this done on the court. And, and uh, you know, that's something I'm so proud of each one of them that they do.